adductor canal. So in this adductor canal, which is your adductor canal is the next topic which is asked. So in this uh, question will be asked on the adductor canal. That is the short notes is asked, not for the long question. So you have come across the what is the uh, femoral triangle. Then we have come across the what is the femoral seat. Then we are going to deal the one more small topic important. Every alternate question paper is having the either femoral triangle, femoral seat, or the adductor canal. So this is the one which is you have to uh, remember adductor canal. This uh, which is you studied in the well, whatever the first comes this is the femoral triangle area, and you are going to get here is the adductor canal. Canal. Here this adductor canal is also called as a subsartorial canal. <coughs> it is also called as a hunter's canal. So you have to remember this adductor canal is having the total three names. Adductor canal we call, second one hunter's canal we call, and subsartorial canal. So whatever this you have to write in the introduction of the adductor canal. This adductor canal is we are going to call as a hunter canal or subsartorial canal because this is adductor canal we are going to call this is the medial compartment of the thigh which is there there it is situated so medial compartment of the thigh region it is situated and that is the medial compartment of thigh we call as an adductor region <coughs> so we are going to have the adductor muscles here adductor longus brevis and magnus these all are the three muscles which are present on the adductor compartment that is a, we are going to get as a medial compartment of thigh. So this is named as a adductor canal. Present on the medial compartment of the thigh where the adductor region that is we are going to call as a canal that is adductor canal. Then why it is called subsartorial canal? This is a sartorius muscle extending from the anterior superior iliac spine to the tibia. This all is the long muscles of the lower limb that is a below the sartorius muscle this canal is situated. So below the sartorius muscle it is situated so it is named as a subsartorial canal. Are you getting? The next which is we are going to call as a that is a hunter's canal. Hunter's we are going to get the William Hunter, John Hunter. We have the anatomist which is a William Hunter. He is an anatomist and uh, also surgeon, William Hunter. And uh, John Hunter who, who is also the related to the all anatomy and all. This is I have explained in the introduction of the, uh, that is a history of anatomy. So that it is uh, called as a uh, Hunter's canal. So John Hunter and William Hunter. William Hunter was an anatomist and surgeon. And uh, this is all hunters related. We are going to get the aneurysm. All this is treatment part, which is uh, as they are the surgeon and anatomist. So they are introduced the aneurysm treatment. So that is the name which is given relating to the adductor canal. It is named as a hunter's canal. So you have to write first. In the introduction, what is the first? It is called as adductor canal. Why it is called as subsartorial canal? Why it is called as a hunter's canal? So after this, what is the definition of the? We are going to deal the adductor canal under the following heads like a definition. Then extent we are going to deal. Then we are going to get the boundaries of the that is the adductor canal. Then what are the content and clinical anatomy? So these are the few heads we are going to discuss the adductor canal. So in the introduction you have to explain all why it is called adductor canal, why it is called hunter's canal, why it is called as a subsartorial canal. So you have to remember this is a sartorius muscle and adductor longus muscle. We have come across in the boundaries of the femoral triangle. At the apex of the femoral triangle to the tendinous opening of the adductor magnus. This extension it is an intermuscular space that is we are going to call as an adductor canal. So now I am dealing the what is the definition of the adductor canal. Adductor canal is defined as it is an intermuscular space situated 
medial side of the middle one third of the thigh. When we study the femur or the thigh, we divide the femur into upper one third, middle one third, lower one third. You can understand why it is divided so. Because here we include the in the definition medial side of the middle one third of the thigh. Below the sartorius muscle, that is we call as a subsartorial canal or the adductor canal or the hunter's canal. So what is the definition of the adductor canal? Adductor canal is defined as it is an intermuscular space situated that is below the sartorius muscle where exactly medial side of the mid one third of the thigh. So commonly you can say that is the intermuscular space situated medial side of the mid one third of the thigh below the sartorius muscle which is called as a that is the adductor canal. Then going to the next part where it is extends. It is extends from the apex of the femoral triangle to the tendinous opening of the adductor magnus below and posteriorly it will continue as a popliteal fossa. So that is very important extending from the, what is the extent of the adductor canal? It extends from the apex of the femoral triangle to the tendinous opening of adductor magnus. Then posteriorly, when go, you go to the posteriorly, it will be continuous as a popliteal fossa. So this is all about the extension of the adductor canal. Next going to the, what are the boundaries of the uh, adductor canal? Boundaries are same, what are the front of thigh muscle, medial compartment, all muscles which will form the boundaries here. So when we take the section of the thigh region, transverse section of the thigh region, you are going to see the it is a triangular in shape. On the cut section of the thigh, transverse section of the thigh, the adductor canal, which is a, appears like a triangular in shape. So that it is having the boundaries anteriorly, posteriorly and medially. This is the femur. Femur, anterior boundary, posterior and medial. So that when we take the section, you are going to see it is triangular in shape. Then when you see the boundaries, you are going to get the anterior boundary, posterior and medial boundary. So what are the boundaries making structure here? Anteriorly it is formed by the boundary, anteriorly the adductor canal bounded by the vastus medialis muscle. Posteriorly we have the adductor longus above and adductor magnus below. Then medially you are going to get the, this is the one which is we call in a fibrous root. This fibrous loop connects the anterior wall, the anterior boundary to the posterior boundary. And this fibrous loop stretching the anterior wall to the posterior, that is the one you have to remember. Above the fibrous loop, the sartorius muscle is situated. So medially by the fibrous loop and sartorius muscle, anteriorly by the vastus medialis, posteriorly by the adductor longus above and adductor magnus below. So these are the things you have to remember in the boundaries of the adductor canal. Next you have to remember about, this is a fibrous loop I have told. This fibrous loop which is connects the anterior wall to the posterior wall. Here, above that there is a situation of the subsartorial plexus of nerve. We are going to get the small branches of nerve also situated on the fibrous loop. Those we call as a subsartorial plexus. These are the branches of the uh, nerve which are coming from the, we can get the medial cutaneous nerve of thigh, saphenous nerve and anterior division of obturator nerve. So anterior division of obturator nerve, saphenous nerve, then I have told the medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. So these cutaneous nerves and all you have come across. So that here they, those nerves, branches, which lies on the fibrous root below the sartorius muscle and those forms the subsartorial plexus of nerve. Subsartorial plexus. They, those are belongs to the branches of the nerve I have told. So here you have to remember about the medial side. So this is a lot about the boundaries you have to remember. And more detail about the fibrous root and I have told the subsartorial plexus of nerve. So this may be can be asked as a uh, MCQ question. 
subsidiary plexus so is formed by the which are the nerve you can remember the saphenous nerve is, is the branches coming medial cutaneous nerve of thigh then anterior division of obturator nerve so fibrous loop which connects the anterior wall to the posterior wall that is the stretching the anterior to the posterior then these all structure present below the sartorius so you are going to get the subsartorial canal you can understand here the this is the medial side coming sartorius and the anterior bond is posterior anterior compartment of thigh muscle posterior compartment we are medial compartment we are going to get so these are all you have to remember about the that is the boundaries of the adductor canal so what are the contents here see we are going to get contents like the femoral artery femoral vein we have the saphenous nerve and we have the nerve to that is the vastus medialis so these are the contents this contents you can very well see in this diagram so this is the one which is a diagram which presents the contents of the that is a adductor canal so contents will be the you are going to as i have shown that is a diagram in the cut section one main contents which is you are going to get that is a femoral artery femoral artery and its branches we are going to have the branches here femoral artery gives the last branch here in the adductor canal that is we call as a descending genicular branch we are going to have the saphenous artery and muscular artery this descending genicular artery divides into a we have saphenous and muscular artery so when you see this femoral artery and we have the femoral vein so what is the relations you are going to see in the adductor canal artery and vein here see femoral artery lies in front of the femoral vein and here it is the femoral vein is lateral to the artery so that you have to remember relations are very important because when we study the femoral triangle contains we are going to get the medially we have the femoral vein then laterally femoral artery most laterally we have the femoral nerve but here i am uh, uh, telling you that is a femoral artery in the upper part lies in front of the femoral vein and it is lying medial to the vein femoral artery lies medial to the vein so that is why you have to remember first content of the adductor canal is femoral artery and its branches its branches are the descending genicular artery and we have the here muscular and saphenous artery second content is femoral vein this femoral vein lies posterior to the femoral artery in the upper part and in the lower part it lies lateral to the artery so in the lower part femoral vein lies lateral to the artery in the upper part it lies posterior to the artery so this relation also very important you have to remember in the adductor canal next nerve comes this you have to consider as a not red color this is a yellow color you have to remember this is a nerve which is we call as a saphenous nerve saphenous nerve and its branches we are going to get third one which is we get nerve to vastus medialis then we are going to get the muscular branches of femoral artery where here we get then we are going to get the anterior and posterior division of obturator nerve so anterior and posterior division of obturator nerve nerve to vastus medialis and saphenous nerve <clears throat> these three nerves are the contained in the adductor canal next i have told femoral artery and femoral vein so these are the main contents of the that is a adductor canal next i have told the this femoral artery which is we are going to in the applied anatomy we have to add what is the aneurysm i have told the uh, john hunter and william hunter are the anatomist and surgeon i have used with the anatomist with uh, that i have told the surgeon william hunter was in the surgeon so whatever they have done the surgical development in the treatment of the aneurysm what is the aneurysm aneurysm is a abnormal dilatation of the artery abnormal this artery wall should be this much okay but it is not there due to that pressure or the or different causes this arterial wall artery bulges it becomes dilated 
abnormal dilatation of arterial lumen or the arterial wall is called as an aneurysm. So this aneurysm treatment, it is commonly seen in the continued here below is a popliteal artery. So popliteal artery is the commonest site where the popliteal artery aneurysm we get. During the popliteal artery aneurysm treatment, we are going to ligate the femoral artery in the adductor canal. We are not doing surgery here in the adductor canal. We are the treating the part which is there. We are uh, making the surgery of the popliteal artery aneurysm. That time, very well we can ligate the femoral artery in the adductor canal. Because we lift the sartorius, immediately below that, we are going to get the artery. So here we are going to ligate, tie artery and we do the surgery of the popliteal artery. If it is started, blood is flowing completely, you cannot perform the surgery. So that we are going to ligate the femoral artery in the adductor canal during the surgery or the, during the treatment of the popliteal artery aneurysm. So that is one you have to remember. And uh, if we tie here, the collateral anastomosis branches, collateral circulation will be established. So here we, if we tie here like it, then we are going to get the establishment of the collateral circulation of the anastomosis arteries. So starts, so that we can do the surgery. So this is the applied anatomy of the adductor canal. So here whatever the, you have studied the first, what is the adductor canal is called? That is a hunter's canal and uh, subsartorial canal. Next, I have told the, what is the definition of the adductor canal. Here in the definition, I have told the three words are very important. Those are the, it is the intermuscular space or the intermuscular space on the medial side of the middle one third of the thigh. That is immediately below the sartorius muscle. So that is we are going to fall as an subsartorial uh, that is all the adductor canal. So this is all about the adductor canal. Write down.